tail. <laughs> Hi friends, happy day. Welcome back to another vlog. This morning was a blur. This morning was a blur. Went to F45, had a great workout. I'm always like super tired after and I'm always ready to go for bed, but today I did not. And instead I made another protein coffee. For this vlog, actually, I wanted to start with a little haul because I've been collecting a lot of PR. <laughs> Here we go. A lot of PR and a lot of packages here in the closet room and it's been a really long time since I've just like had a good chat. I feel like it's been all house, which is so fine. I will give you some big house updates uh, when we're done this, but I wanted to start with a haul, show you some new clothing that has come in and that portion is actually very kindly sponsored by Revolve and I'm so excited and grateful to Revolve. So I have some really, really, really cute pieces that I picked up from Revolve that I wanna show you and then a ton of products like just some fun things. I also did a little mini Sephora haul. Figured I'd start with a good haul, guys, and then I'll take you through some house updates and we'll just continue the vlog over the weekend and see what we get up to. So that's the plan for now. I did do my makeup. I did my same, like it's the same everyday makeup. I haven't changed it. Like my makeup collection is still splattered in the spare room. I haven't even gone in there. I open the door and I'm like, Ooh, Nope, let's let's close that door. Nothing is organized yet. So I've been keeping my same makeup bag. So if you missed like my last few makeup videos, this is the same look. The one thing I, two things that I'm wearing differently today. Um, I bought this actually when we were at, was it Superstore? Does Superstore have e.l.f.? I don't know, we were grocery shopping the one day and I saw this e.l.f. putty blush, which I've used another shade before, love it, but I saw this bright pink one. It doesn't have a name on it. There's only a couple of colors, so whatever the bright pink one is of the e.l.f. putty blush. Like, other than me playing with my own picante blush, this is the blush that I have been wearing. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, cool toned pink. It's so bright, very fresh. My favorite thing is in a bright pink blush, and I have been loving it. I've also gone back to my RMS Lip Shine in Sublime. OG subscribers over the last few years will know how much I have used and loved that and I still have it and it still hasn't like gotten moldy or gross so I continue to use it. Just so you know, those are the only two products that I changed in my face. The rest is the same. So let's dive in. I'm gonna show you obviously a few things that I was very kindly gifted but also show you some things that I bought. So let's start with the Revolve pieces. But something that they've done I guess kind of recently, but it's been a while now and I'm very happy about it and I'm always happy to shout out websites that do this for us Canadians because import fees and duties can be so brutal. Shipping to Canada can be so brutal and I know that's the same thing for many other countries, but Revolve is now one of the very few very kind websites who have included import fees and duties into their pricing if you're shopping in Canada, which is really nice. And they also have free returns. Their shipping has become so quick, which is awesome. So I'm really, really happy that I am working with Revolve and really excited to show you what I picked up. I literally, it's still in the box. Here's my little Revolve haul. Revolve, thank you so much. All the pieces I show, I will link in the description box down below. Absolutely. I'll have to do a little try on after. I'm gonna talk you through the pieces first and then I'll have to close my blinds so I don't flash my neighbors. Oh, I could not resist this dress. I love the brand L'Academy. That's one of my favorite brands that Revolve carries on their site. And this white shirt dress, I was absolutely obsessed. The buttons are a little bit angled on it. So you have this lovely little asymmetric detail there. It's got the tie around it. And I just love everything collared and buttoned up. And so having this in a sweet little dress form was just gorgeous. And the actual material itself is almost like waffled. It's not actually waffled, it's it's striped, but it's got a really nice texture to it. So that's the L'Academy dress, really excited for that one. Okay, so next up I got a couple of tops that I'm really excited about. Again, I am part of the itty bitty titty committee, so having these like little bandeau tops and just smaller strappy tops are kind of a godsend when it's really, really hot and in the summer weather and going into like transitioning into fall, I'm really excited to have these top options for when I'm wearing like my high-waisted pants and trousers that I love and then throwing a blazer on top. I think it's going to be very, very chic and I'm excited. The first top I got is from Super Down. I got this in a size small, lovely little kind of corset style. It's got the nice clasps at the front seems to have some nice cups. Love the white in this. And I'll actually show you guys later. I had bought a corset top from Super Down as well as a pair of shoes like two weeks ago from Revolve. And I really, really loved the corset top. So I saw this one with the straps and 
yeah, I wanted to get that. So really excited to have that. And then I'll show you the corset top I bought after. And this top is funny. This is a top from Lovers and Friends and it's so gorgeous. It's pink, it's waffled. And in that order I made about two weeks ago, I had actually bought the size medium of this and ended up returning it and got the size small because it was just a little bit too big for my no boobs life. But I love this. I think it's so cute having a fun little pop of pink. I have a pair of my uh, pink linen pants and I think this will just be so cute with that or like with an all white suit or an all black suit. I just feel like I'll wear this so much and again it's like practically naked so on my very hot summer sweaty days this is gonna be amazing. And then on that same train this is a little top from the brand NBD and this one's a little bit a little bit more dressed up. I'm really excited about this one. I think this will just complement so many outfits and then yeah it just has like a little bit more of a dressier tailoring to it that I feel will look just very fancy and nice a little date night number to wear very excited about this one okay I am so so hoping and praying that this next suit fits me again from the Brandle Academy one of my favorites there was this gorgeous like off-white suit and I just screamed screamed when I saw it on the website got the pants. I got both of them in a size medium, so I'm hoping, I have faith that it will fit, but we'll see. And then the bottom has these fun little slits, which just adds a little bit of interest, and if you're wearing some fancy shoes, it just lets them poke out so nicely, you know? So the tailoring on these is like beautiful, like really, really nice quality, so fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, these are the pants. And this is the blazer! Oh man, she is just a dream. This gorgeous, I guess, like, I would call it like a cream or an ivory. Um, sorry, I'm stepping on bubble wrap here, but yeah, it's got shoulder pads. Really gorgeous. Fingers crossed that this fits because this will be such a great suit. And this, like, with any of those three tops, I think will be so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, next up, I got a pair of shoes. This is from the brand LPA. So I got these lovely little strappy kitten heels. I just thought this was such a gorgeous, kind of like a staple shoe to add to my shoe wardrobe. There's not many heels that are like comfortable enough to wear for every day, especially in the summer. And so I thought this would have been a really nice option to add to my summer shoe wardrobe and then also transitioning into the rest of the seasons. I thought this would be such a great versatile shoe. Great color, staple color, and I hope it'll go very, very well with that lovely little Lacademy suit. So I picked up these shoes from LPA. And so that's everything I got from Revolve to Revolve. Thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video. All the pieces that I showed will absolutely be linked in the description box down below. And I may or may not be working on some fun videos with Revolve for their channels coming up. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I'll definitely let you know when they're live and I'm very excited and I hope you guys enjoyed the pieces that I picked up. Speaking of pieces I picked up, I'm going to show you the shoes that I actually bought a couple weeks ago. This is a pair of shoes I picked up myself from Revolve. This is from the brand Song of Style. I saw these on Instagram and I had myself on a wait list. This is actually what inspired my purchase from Revolve a few weeks ago. <laughs> I put myself on the wait list for the restock of the size seven and a half and as soon as that email came in, I bought them instantly and then they went completely sold out again. I believe they are now in stock. They have another color as well in this style, but it has this gorgeous wood heel, gold detail. Like they're just so fun. These are actually the shoes. If you guys saw my little birthday trip vlog, these are the shoes that I wore on my little birthday dinner night. Who knew that I would ever become a heel wearing gal, but I told you guys, I'm going to start dressing up, getting out of lockdown, baby. I'm ready to fly. Oh, I said I was going to show you the corset. So this is the little, ah, the little super down corset top. I did get this one in a medium. And this is a top that I never thought I would see myself wearing like this style, but I'm obsessed with it. It's actually so flattering. And because it has these little pointy bits at the top, it perfectly hides my little bubble of armpit fat that I just adore so much. <laughs> and I posted a pic on Instagram. Hopefully you guys would have seen it, but I just think it's so fabulous. And yeah, I bought this, this, the shoes, and then I had bought that little pink top that I ended up returning, but that was my little mini revolve haul from a couple weeks back. So if this one's still available, I will absolutely do my best to link it below. Okay, so I'm gonna try on all of those pieces. I'll insert little clips and put them in after. So I'm gonna insert those now. So here's the suit in all of her glory. Definitely needs a good steam. I need to give all of these things a good steam. It's quite oversized for sure. This was the medium. But I think this would be a really nice number actually 
buttoned up. I don't normally say that about a lot of blazers, but the pants, I love the little slits. I think this is such a fun little detail. These are the LPA shoes, and this is the little NBD top. Please don't mind my now peeling off tan, but I just think this is such a fun little top to pair with any kind of suit or a blazer. It's a perfect layering piece and to just wear on its own when you are melting in the heat. Yeah, the blazer is a little bit oversized. I could have gotten one size smaller, I think, but really, really cute. Okay, so this is the dress. I'm actually kind of shocked. I feel like it's, it's way too small. I definitely could have gone a size up, like just around my booty area. It's pulling really, really tight, which is funny because normally the size medium Lacademy dresses are a little bit big on me. I have had a few dresses that I love in the past and yeah, I feel like this is a little bit of a small fit for me in the bottom area. I had to, I had to undo a button for it to be <laughs> a little bit more breathable. So I don't know, I feel like I should exchange this for a bigger size, but otherwise I think the details on the dress are super unique and I really love the texture on it but yeah i think it's just a little it's a little bit tight for your girl uh so i completely forgot to show you guys this skirt this lovely lovely little academy skirt was hiding under the shoe box in the box but this is another one of the pieces that i got and i still have the lpa heels on which are so perfect with this little skirt this is the perfect perfect summer skirt option it's got a lovely little slit at the back which i think is very very sexy Love it, it's super comfortable. And then this is the little super down top, which I think, honestly, I just don't have the right boobs for this top in particular. I think someone with a little bit more bust would fill this top out much better than I do. The skirt and shoe combo, big fan. Okay, yes to this top. So like I mentioned before, I did size down in this top. It's a little, it's a little nipply, but you guys know I don't, I don't mind that. It's got a really cute racer back, lovely little detail there. And I just think this is such a fun, little perfect day or night outfit for the summer. Again, I'm obsessed with the shoe and skirt combo and this little bralette is so comfy and I'll totally wear it on its own or layered underneath a little blazer moment. So these are the pieces that I was very kindly sent from Revolve. What do you guys think? And then my friends, let's let's hit the floor and dive into the rest of the products. Let's start actually with my little Sephora haul. I just basically restocked some things but got a, a couple of new things. I got my dry bar dry shampoo. I don't know why I didn't get the big jumbo one. I usually always get the big jumbo one and I don't know what kind of like brain fart I had but usually I get the jumbo one and it's so great and it lasts forever but this is my dry shampoo of choice. It has been for years. I love it. I bathe in it and I needed a restock. I'm probably going to get the jumbo one and then I'll also get the travel size one because even when we stay with our parents downtown, it's just nice to be able to throw it in the bag and not pack like the big one. I like having the travel size one. So dry bar, dry shampoo. Then I restocked my Coudalie and I was actually really excited because I hadn't seen the new grape water packaging yet. But if you guys didn't know, Coudalie has been doing like an entire rebranding and I can't remember the exact figures at this moment, please forgive me, but I think it was like by 2022 that might have adjusted now, but they're switching to all like sustainable packaging. So they've been completely rebranding and redoing the products, which has been great. I love the grape water. This is one of the first purchases I ever made at Sephora and I always have one in my bathroom and needed to restock, so grape water. And then I also picked up the cleansing oil, the makeup removing cleansing oil. I went through the entire bottle of this. I use this to remove my makeup. Um, before I cleanse my face, I use it with my face halo. Love it. Needed to have it. It's been very, very missed the last couple weeks. So got my Caudalie cleansing oil. Then I also, I bought another brow freeze, you guys. I'm almost out of mine and I didn't want to be out. It was out of stock for a really long time. So I still have like a couple days more for sure in my brow freeze. But just in case it went out of stock again, I decided to pick it up because you guys, I really, really have been loving it so much. I know, like, listen, the got to be hair gel, all that, like absolutely no problem. By the way, a lot of people keep messaging me like specifically from Germany because it appears to only be on like the DE, that's Germany, right? The .de site. But anyway, apparently got to be has come out with a brow gel version of the hair gel. They've come out with the brows, so it, I mean, I can't get that in Canada yet, but if they bring it to Canada, I will absolutely try it because it's brilliant. Very excited for that. But I did pick up another brow freeze in the meantime. So 
restock that. Then I got a couple things from Kate Somerville, and this is really funny. I'll get to that in a second, but I got the Wrinkle Warrior for Dan. He really loves this. I think this is his third bottle of it. So we stocked up on the Wrinkle Warrior from Kate Somerville. And then I had actually just finished up my Eradicate, the little acne dot treatment. And um, <laughs> my package came in from Sephora. And then I got a little PR package from Kate Somerville and that came in and it has the Eradicate. So <laughs> now I have two. So Kate Somerville, thank you so much. They also sent the Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser and this cute little mirror. So now I've got a backup, which is hilarious. I should have just waited had I known it was coming in the mail. <laughs> yeah, I've restocked on that two times. Um, and then the last thing I got, I actually saw these on the new at Sephora, but this is the KVD Vegan Beauty new epic kiss nourishing vegan butter lipstick i got three shades in this the growl up up speak and she defined you know what guys i'm not gonna swatch them right now because i just know i'm gonna get it all over my white shirt but i'll most likely do like a new makeup video coming up at some point and i will save these for then but wanted to try i'm very curious to see like what the new rebranded version of kvd vegan beauty is going to be bringing out they absolutely crushed it like the good apple foundation rocked everyone's world and then love what i see with these lipsticks i'm excited to try them yeah that was my very much not so little sephora haul <laughs> just restocking some things and a couple of new bits as well okay let's move into pr all right we got a new gisu honey infused leave-in conditioner very very excited to try this they actually sent it along with a bee suit which maybe <laughs> which i i laughed because i was like what on earth am i gonna do with this but then i thought like it might really really come in handy for the wasp infestation that we have in our backyard so to gisu thank you so much i am now protected with the bee suit but this is yeah their new leaving conditioner really cute packaging i'm very excited to try this so that is new in thank you gisu okay next up we have quite a few new things from benefit actually and i have to say that the first package they sent seemed to be in collaboration with chandon and they sent a giant sparkling wine bottle i am very excited for this and then they sent this gorgeous little textured chandon glass so so cute so they've come out with the new pow made brow pomade very very exciting love the packaging always so fun from benefit they sent me shades 3 and 3.5 as well as a brush that has the brush and the spoolie on it so very curious to try these and then they sent over let me get this right this is the california kissin color bomb and apparently they have 16 shades of these oh available june 27th oh okay so not that new, but lovely new lip balms from them. Love the packaging, that's so cute. Let's see this pink rose, because I'm wearing pink, so maybe it'll be okay. Very, very cute packaging. How does it smell? Oh, it smells really, really good. Love to see all these lip balms. How does it look? I feel like it's just a little bit deeper than the pink I was wearing. Really cute, very excited for that. Thank you, Benefit. And then they've also added to their tint shades. This is the new Play Tint. This is a pink lemonade tinted lip and cheek stain. I've never really gotten into the Benefit tints and I don't know why. Like the original Benetint, I feel like that's just something I would absolutely love, like especially the color. So I actually really want to make a point to try this and play with it. Oh yeah, the color looks lovely. It doesn't have any particular smell, but very cute packaging as always. Benefit, thank you. All right, then I got some gorgeous <gasps> jewelry pieces in. First being from the Paradise Collection from Victoria, aka In The Fro. And this is from her recent collaboration with Edge of Ember. This is the, is it the Laxer chain? The Laxer chain bracelet? From the Paradise Collection. Look at that photo. You're an absolute goddess that is so beautiful thank you so much for sending me a piece from your collection i'm really excited about this i may or may not have already opened it before filming this <laughs> but this is the bracelet here like it's just so gorgeous so luxe i think i'd have to put that on the other side of my watch but how lovely and big and chunky is that that's so fun very much a statement piece that's really really gorgeous Thank you so much, Victoria. This is beautiful. And congrats on your new Edge of Ember collection. Everything has looked 
so stunning. Okay, then I got sent this really, really gorgeous necklace from a brand called Stone and Strand. I was over the moon when I saw this. Stone and Strand, thank you so much. It's an initial necklace with diamonds in it, and it's very, very fine, fine gold. What a beautiful piece to just literally never take off. Like, this is a piece I'd put on and, like, wear forever. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The detail on it is so beautiful. Such a precious precious necklace eee, i'm so excited about it and i like that it's kind of a shorter choker length hey guys i love having me some longer nails it's been such a time of growth but i find myself like i won't be able to do this my nails are too long i'm gonna have to have dan do that for me later but what a beautiful piece stone and strand thank you so much it's so beautiful skin cuticle sent over a restock of my two favorite products that's a lot i have four favorite products from SkinCeuticals. So two of my favorites. And I cried a little bit inside because I've been out of the Triple Lipid Restore Cream. So SkinCeuticals, thank you so much for sending a restock over. Oh my God, I'm so happy. My skin's gonna be very, very happy as well. And they also sent over the Resveratrol BE. These are two of my top, top, top favorite products from SkinCeuticals. If you try anything, like let it be one of these or one of their serums. My favorite is the Floritin CF. <sighs> That's my daily skincare sorted right there, SkinCeuticals. I love you forever, thank you so much. So then I got a huge package from Dr. Dennis Gross. They just sent me like a ton of their amazing looking skincare products. A few of them I've never heard of, which I was really, really excited to try. First being a full body facial, the exfoliating body treatment, which might be really, really nice. And I'm curious as to how this will be for like bumpy skin on your butt and like blocked hair follicles and all that like an exfoliating treatment I think that'd be really really nice for the legs and the butt the little arm bumps like very very excited to try this So dr. Dennis Gross, thank you so much And then they also sent this hydrating modeling mask for dehydrated skin dull complexion and fine lines and wrinkles like yes I am all dull and I am so dry and it looks to be like a crazy full masking experience so I'm really excited to try that <laughs> Another one I'm really excited about is the Alpha Beta Ultra Gentle Daily Peel. I, years and years and years ago, tried their original peel and it was like way too intense for my very sensitive skin. So, very excited to try this one that's ultra gentle. It's for dehydrated or sensitive skin, uneven tone or texture, fine lines or enlarged pores. I have all of those things. Again, Dr. Dennis Gross, thank you so much. I can't wait to try these. I think Dan's gonna be really excited to try these too. <laughs> okay, next up I got a lovely package from Tiki's and they sent their classic gorgeous, gorgeous flip-flops. And I realized in that moment when I opened this box, that I didn't own a pair of flip-flops, so I'm actually so excited. So excited to have these tiki's, thank you so much. And they actually sent this because apparently they're doing pop-ups with Holt Renfrew. So in Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal, and Calgary from August 16th to August 29th, Tiki's is gonna be at Holt Renfrew. So if you have a Holt Renfrew near you in those major cities in Canada, Tiki's is gonna be there, which is very exciting. And they sent over this glorious, glorious navy sweatsuit, okay? Hey, are you okay? Look at this. Look at this fabulous hoodie. Guess what I love about it? It's jersey. It doesn't have the fleece inside it, so it's so perfect for going to and from your workouts, and you don't get that, like, slimy, slippy feeling when you're sweating, you know? It's just, it absorbs right up. <laughs> Tiki's, thank you so much for this gorgeous sweatsuit. Sorry, that's what I get for putting it on the floor. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is the core jogger pant. Or jogger pant beautiful love the color love the color tiki's thank you so much and congrats on your whole run through pop-up that's so exciting okay i want to talk about one more because this was just really really cute i actually went as a as a plus one to a party with my parents they brought their child me as a tag along which was really cute and at the party i actually met some lovely gals daphne and stacy who apparently own a winery in a Soyuz, which is where my parents love to go camping every year. They're so cute. And they had actually brought, they have a sparkling rosé. It was so good. It's called Hello Sunday. And they brought it to the party and they were letting everyone try it. And so I actually made an order while I was sitting there and I ordered the Hello Sunday because it was so good. And so my order came in and this was written in the box. And so I cut it out. I want to keep this piece of cardboard because they wrote me a note on my order. It was so cute. And they added an extra bottle in there for me which was so sweet oh my god they were so cute that's it guys those are all the products i'm going to talk through some lovely lovely new in 
things, some beautiful new pieces, and also some things I picked up. So what I'm able to, I will link in the description box down below for you. And so now I need to tidy this up. <laughs> I need to put everything away. I need to try on the pieces from Revolve, and then I'm actually gonna go film a reel. I'll try to anyway. Try my best to pop on the real life. And then I'll show you guys some very, very fun house updates if the guys aren't in the basement. I don't know how long they were working for today. But if I don't do it today, I'll definitely show you guys tomorrow. Basically, Dan and I are headed downtown today. We're gonna be staying overnight at his parents' house. We're having dinner with his parents. And then a few of my girlfriends and I are having a little gals night here at our house uh, on Saturday night, which is really fun. So uh, once I'm done cleaning up, I'll be sure to sneak you down in the basement and show you guys what's new down there. So I've just been tidying up. It's freezing because we officially have AC. I wanted to show you guys the beautiful bouquet that came in from Dior. Like how beautiful. Ugh. And down there, this is the AC. It was installed just in time for the weather to turn freezing. It's like raining in like 19 degrees for the next four or five days, which is not freezing, but it is currently cold, which is hilarious and ironic, but we do officially have air conditioning. Am I using the Frigidaire for light right now? Yes, I am. Anyway, um, I was just cleaning up because like I said, the girls are coming over for a girls night tomorrow and UPS came by, brought over a beautiful package from Ellie Mae. I'm gonna show you guys upstairs. I'm gonna make some eggs really quick and shove them in my face because I am so hungry. <laughs> All right, I have eaten. Now let me take you downstairs. So you can see as we open the door, half of the stairs are still not done. <laughs> but the paint and the floors are done. So here is the media room. Sorry, it is, it is dark and rainy outside, but this is actually Dan's chosen color. It's kind of like a super dark green gray, and it ended up going so nicely with the color on the stairs and the railing and the black, and yeah. Just makes it feel very cozy and inviting down here. Yeah, I love the color. They still haven't done the trim, but otherwise the paint is done. So then in here, ooh, so this is all of the Tyler's work. This is his cutter, which has been very, very quiet as you can assume. But these are all of our wall tiles. Looks like one's broken. That's sad, very, very sad. Let's see if I can give you a sneak peek in here. I don't know how to turn their light on, <laughs> but you can hopefully see that one of the walls has been done. And then they've also done the floor tile, which looks so good. I'm just using my flashlight so you guys can see the tile on the floor. It turned out so, so beautifully. And then there is the shower wall. And that's an update in the bathroom. And then in the rest of the basement, oh wow, they totally cleaned it up. Oh my God, you can see. <laughs> so most of the trim has been done. I think I mentioned to you guys that our doors from upstairs are gonna be this closet door. So those are the doors from upstairs. He removed them today. Um, and then those are the French doors that are glass that are gonna be going upstairs instead. And then all of the trim has been done on the windows. The painters just need to come and finish them off. Trim's done on that window. And here's all the excess trim to finish it off. Oh my God, I didn't even see. He did the trim on the bottom, on this wall. <gasps> wow. Oh my God, on that side too. Wow, I am blind. I am blind. That looks so good. So truly, truly, they're gonna be done this so quickly. Like, they're just doing such a good job. Like, they started that tile in the bathroom yesterday. <laughs> so it's literally been a day and a half of work and they're already almost done. It's crazy, you can't see it. It's covered with paper, but they've also done the mosaic tile in the bottom of the shower. So it's just going by so, so quickly. And the painters are back on Monday to be doing the trim. And then we're just waiting on doors because a few of them have been back ordered, but everyone's just done such an incredible job. The bathroom is coming along and we're so excited to see it guys. That's a little update. 
and like I mentioned before we also had our AC installed yesterday nothing else really to report there other than the fact that we won't be having any more tragic extreme heat <laughs> coming from the house so it's a pretty giant machine outside it's raining so I'm not gonna take the camera outside but Hi. but the AC is installed it's all very exciting so now we're packing up we're gonna head downtown spend the rest of the day with Dan's fam and have dinner with them as well I just packed my stuff into an Ikea bag <laughs> so I'm gonna pack up the camera and we'll see you guys when we're downtown good morning everyone it's Saturday we are downtown at Dan's parents and I just got dressed I put on the little Tiki's fit it's actually really comfortable I love the material too um, I think this morning we're gonna go for a walk I'm gonna have brunch with the girls and then I'm taking them back to our place Dan's gonna stay and have a little night with the guys downtown and then I'm taking the girls back to our house and having a girls night Hi everyone, happy Monday to you. Oh my gosh, I was just editing the vlog so that it could go up tonight. Well, so I could pass it over to Dan to make it beautiful and then it could go up tonight. And I realized that I haven't vlogged anything since our walk downtown, oh my gosh. Um, so hi, happy Monday. Saturday, had a lovely little morning and stroll downtown with Dan and his mom. And then I had my girls night on Saturday night didn't vlog a damn thing, but we went, we went and did an escape room, which was super fun. And then uh, proceeded to have a very boozy girls night. I don't even want to talk <laughs> about the hangover that I had yesterday. Definitely some residual still today. Um, I need to remind myself of that horrible feeling the next time that I decide doing shops is a good idea. Yeah, yesterday was a day. Uh, had a nice fresh start this morning, had a good start to the Monday. I had a 45 this morning. That was rough after Sunday. That was a rough workout. But following that, I got my nails done, which was so, so badly needed. I had three broken nails. I posted my one broken nail over the weekend on Instagram. Two more broke after that. I had three broken nails. So three of these are fake. Anyway, I don't know what came over me. I don't know what came over me. The salon I go to, they got like a new brand in and so they had their new little color what do you call it color wheel thing and they were like "Ooh, do you want to try this one like this is new and i literally i've seen so many people do this like the little ombre color wheel whatever and i saw five blues in a row and i was like yeah <laughs> i don't know why I'm, I'm such a plain jane when it comes to my nails i usually always get red or i get some kind of clear or very natural color anyway i got blue nails so it's five, can you see that? It's five different blues. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. I have a feeling that I'm gonna get sick of it really quickly. So we'll see how long this lasts, but I thought it was fun. Just a fun, colorful rainbow to have before the fall, the fall chats start coming in because my God, it's getting chilly. Like summer's ending. I hope we have another heat wave. Now that I have AC, I hope we have another no, but I hope I hope it doesn't get cold too soon. We'll see. Anyway, whatever. I got my nails done, guys. And yeah, I've just been working on the video. And that's been the day. So I hope you all had a beautiful weekend. I also realized I never showed you what came in from Ellie Mae. I left it sitting here because I wanted to unbox it. I know that they just released their fall collection, which looks absolutely glorious. Ah, oh my goodness. Oh, they're just so cute. Look at this. Look at this little pouch. I love that they do this so much. They include the fabric swatches of all of the pieces that are in their new collection. So this is like this beautiful blue, what do you call it, felt? <clears throat> Wool. And then it has all the product information, the style information on the back of what it's gonna be. This is so fun. The Lois Dusty Rose Blazer in this like beautiful corduroy. The Leonard Virgin Wool Pants and it has all the pants on it. This is just so cute. The colors are so fun. Oh, the photos and the videos that are in their new collection are just so gorgeous. And I'm so happy that I finally got to see the store. I'm so happy we got to see the store while we were in Toronto. So if you're in Toronto, be sure to check out the Ellie Mae Studios store. And yeah, the Magic Hour collection, their new fall launch. And it appears as though they have sent me a pair of pants. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the pair of Leonard pants. Wow, look at look at the fabric inside. Oh my word, 100% wool pants with this gorgeous like deep burnt ready brown detail on it. Look at these pants. Look at these pants. Absolutely gorgeous. I like that the half half the waist is an elasticated band. How beautiful. And then they also sent a shirt, t-shirt. A beautiful white t-shirt, so crisp, so clean. How will I not destroy you with my bronzer? I'm gonna make it my goal to keep you white and fresh. So to Ellie, Ellie and the team, thank you so much. Congrats on the fall collection. I know this vlog has just pretty much been one big haul. Oh, LOL also at this. Not an LOL, this is the sweetest thing. Um, I got, I actually got really spoiled for my birthday this year. I've been debating doing like a TikTok or something about what I got for my birthday, but everything just has like such a good backstory. It's like too much to keep blabbing about it, you know, do you know what I mean? But what I got for my birthday this year was like super, super thoughtful and lovely. And one of those things being <laughs> after years and years of having my shitty little travel ones and them breaking and then just me not steaming my clothes ever, Dan got me like a full blown industrial proper steamer for my birthday. Bless him, he's the most thoughtful creature on the planet. I feel so lucky and blessed to have him as my fiance and this shirt, this shirt used to be steamed so badly. But look at this, my very own professional real steamer. Look at how heavy duty this is. It has a freaking wooden handle. <laughs> oh, how amazing is that? So just know that going forward, I will never ever have an excuse to have wrinkly clothing ever again. Unless I've been sitting for a long time and you see me stand up and then if I'm wearing linen pants, obviously there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. But this was such an amazing birthday gift and I'm really excited to use it. This has been waiting here. I need to, I need to do this shirt. My beloved Frankie shop green shirt. But yeah. How fantastic. I'm so thrilled. And while we're just having a little blab and chat, I also wanted to update you guys on my books. I have been updating my books on my little Instagram highlight. I have the book club 2020 and the book club 2021. So I have been updating the books on there as I've been going. One that I haven't updated you on yet is the Queen of the Tierling, which now I don't remember if I just posted this on Instagram or in a vlog, but when we were in Whistler a few weeks ago, I went to the local bookshop there and the guy was so nice. I had said, hey, I've had a void in my life since I finished reading Circe, 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 the amazing Madeline Miller book. And he recommended this series to me. It was a three book series, Queen of the Tierling. And I finished it and I have just started the Invasion of the Tierling. And it's so bad. It's so bad. I'm like two chapters in and I, I honestly, it's one of those series that I don't think I'm going to be able to finish. The first one was so, like it was set up so promising. If you're a fantasy lover, if you like loved Aragon <laughs> or just love magic, whatever, like it has such a promising start to the series. And then it has just gone down the toilet for me. Like the first book was so anticlimactic. I thought, my god like this was so slow surely in the second book it'll be able to pick up like there's a second and third book something's got to give bring in some dragons like bring some more magic what's going on oh my god i don't know i don't want to give it away just in case anyone has like really enjoyed this series or you haven't finished it yet but i don't even know i don't even know what to say to those of you who have finished this series please let me know do i even bother continuing with this book because so far I'm so disappointed. <laughs> and that's 0 for 2 right now. I didn't like Malibu Rising and now I'm not liking this. So I feel like the next book I read has got to be a good one. <laughs> or I'm going to go on another reading hiatus because this has been trash week. I'm blue, don't me, don't me, don't me, don't me. Okay.